guys. So this is just a little, another little tutorial to help you with converting metric units. So today you are just converting metric units of length, which is going to be meters. So your U is going to be meters today. You're going to do liters and grams on another day. So after our live meet that we had, and also from watching the video that we've attached to the assignment, you should be able to know what all of these things stand for. So just as a review, this is kilo, hecto, deci. Our unit today is meters, deci, centi, milli. And you also learned the really fun way to remember it is King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. Poor King Henry. Okay, so a good way for you to do all your problems today is to write this out. So I recommend getting a pen and a paper, doing it that way, and writing this out for every single problem because this is going to help you to know which way you're moving and from which direction. So let's take a look at the problem I just gave you. So you have one and 32 hundredths kilometers, right? So where am I starting? I'm starting at kilometers. So I'm going to circle my K. And where am I going to? I'm going to meters. So where is meters? He's at my U. So this is where I'm going. So which direction am I going to be moving? I'm going to be moving to the right. I'm going that way. So now the next question we want to ask ourselves is, well, how many places am I moving? So I'm going to start at kilo. Let's see how many places I'm moving. I'm going one, two, three. So if I'm moving three places up there, how many places do you think I'm going to have to move down here? I'm going to have to move three places. If you guessed that, you are correct. So let me rewrite it here. So how many places should I move the decimal? Now I want to also think to myself, is it getting bigger or is it getting smaller? I'm getting bigger because I'm going to be moving my decimal to the right. So let's see, we're going to be moving three places to the right. One, two, three. Oh look, I have an empty place. What are we going to put there? Our zero or our secret ninja. So now what is going to be my answer up here? 1,320 meters. All right, so let's do one more, okay? So just give me a second, I'm gonna erase this and I'm gonna redo it. So this is what you should be doing for all your problems, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna write King Henry died unusually drinking chocolate milk. Guys, this is such a good tool. It really, really helps you to know what you have to do. So now let's say, for instance, we have, let's do 24 and 5 tenths centimeters equals how many decameters? So it's going to be D-A-M. That's the abbreviation. All right, so where am I starting? I'm starting from centimeters. And where am I going? I'm going to decameters. So which direction am I moving now? I'm moving to the left. So that's gonna tell me which direction I'm going to have to move my decimal. Which direction am I moving my decimal? To the left. So let's go down here. Let me rewrite this again. 24 and 5 tenths. Sorry if it's a little blurry. Okay, so how many places am I moving it to the left? Let's find out. One two, three. So I'm going to move my decimal three places to the left. One, two, three. What am I going to put here? My secret ninja. So how many decameters is it going to be? It's going to be 245 ten thousandths decameters. Okay. So remember, we're using this as a tool. It's a way to help us to convert our metric units. All right. So if you have any questions, you know where to find us.